Back in 2004, playing Mantis owned Johnny Lightning. Right now it's 2011 and Tomaka and Johnny Lightning. I think Tomaka purchased Johnny Lightning. Back in 2004 they had this gallery showcase. It uh, had six cubbies to hold your cars. Included one car. I think there was four different ones available at the time. It has a uh, front opening door like most acrylic displays. But what was neat about it is you could buy this and then when you buy more cars you can stack them up and uh, make your collection bigger and you could also make it fit the size of whatever room you had available. It also had uh, wall mounted screws so if you wanted to stick it on the wall you could. Let's go ahead and open it up. Here's the uh, screws that were mentioned for you to attach it to the wall. These are, uh, I believe these are for drywall because most homes nowadays have a drywall. So you drill a hole, put this in the wall, then you screw this into there I believe. I think that's how it works. There's the instructions right there. So it's got holes in the corner here for you to attach it to the wall. Each one came with uh, one model. It's made out of plastic. Door pops off easily, so if you want to just display it like this, or, or, uh, I, I would recommend you using the door to keep the dust out. Very nifty. These were eight dollars. I think they were seven ninety nine originally. Yep, seven ninety nine. So six cubbies, eh, about a dollar thirty. About a dollar thirty to uh, display your cars. That's about the going rate for a big display case. If you're going to put acrylic display cases on the wall, here's the uh, here's the way that you connect them side by side. Here's the hooks for you to connect them uh, vertically. Let me go ahead and open up these other boxes and make a display. So on the sides, they got these uh, little notches. So that's how you connect them. Stay connected real nice. You're gonna put them on a wall, or you're gonna put them on a, a desk, or uh, maybe uh, the dresser. Personally, I think I, I was planning on having areas where I could set these up like this, like this, and then have a little displays. But I never got around to it, so I'm just gonna wind up uh, giving these away to in my uh, subscriber contest. I figure a uh, uh, little bonus for uh, some of my winners. Now uh, I got um, six of these and there's four different cars. This one was in there. This is a... Uh, one thing about Giant Lightning, they don't always put the names on the bases. This is a 1968 Camaro. Oh, by the way, I'm not shipping them with the cars. I'm going to keep the cars. Hello. It's my first time uh, using it. So I'm sure once you get the hang of it, you'll do a better job. Also got this uh, SUV. 2004 Cadillac Escalade. Plastic wheels. Good for me, you know I like uh, plastic wheels. This Nissan Z. Nice color. And there was a fourth one. Where'd it go? One, two, three. Ah, must have rolled away. 
What are you going? Oh well. But uh, here's your 18 van, just so you get a feeling for how big the uh, cubbies are. Here's a uh, drag strip demon that I opened up. Uh, you know, funny cars tend to be longer, so I was curious if these will fit. Yep. Fits and it's got room. So these were pretty nifty display cases that were available uh, at least Target for sure. I don't remember if they were available at other stores. Doggone it, I don't know where the. Uh, I don't remember where the fourth car went. Anyways, while well, I went looking around, I couldn't find a fourth one. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I only had three other cars. But I went ahead and got a uh, Hot Wheels VW bus. This way you guys uh, get an idea if uh, these fit as well. There you go. These are pretty cool. They worked very well. Not bad. See ya. Bye-bye.